it's Halloween. Uh, a lot of people are trying to build haunted houses. I am trying to build a haunted household. I am starting with a spellcaster so that I can give her curses. Fun. Uh, this is a sim I have actually made, I think like two, three years ago. The vibe is obviously like Sabrina the Teenage Witch-esque. She has a cat, a black cat named Scaredy. The vibe of Scaredy is that he is on his sixth life. And so he's a cute little skeleton cat who we love. I think I'm basically going to populate this with, I mean, occults, but mostly ghosts because that's just fun. So I'm just going to fill this household up with as many cursed, terrible ghosts as we can. Okay, it is several free life hours later now. Of course it is. And I have filled this household up with all of the cursed sims I could think of. As I was saying, this is based on a household I had built a few years ago. But I had downloaded a few ghosts from the gallery for that. Uh, and I replaced them all. I could not remember if my vampire sim here was from the gallery. Now, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. If this is your man, let me know. I, I think he's not, though. So, the vibe is I wanted there to be another alive, like, grown-up sim here. So, I went with this spooky vampire guy. Kind of inspired by, like, um... Kind of inspired by, like, the graveyard book. Where there's a bunch of ghosts. And then one vampire, like, raising a younger person. Technically two, because we've got this other team sim here. Otherwise, we've got, yeah, Lloyd Bledsoe. He is a vampire, and he is emotionally distant. And we love that. We have here... Zoe Greenberg. Uh, and the vibe, as I was saying before, I might have cut it out, uh, is 80s teen slasher movie. Uh, in my mind, she was killed by werewolves in Moon of Mill. That's not an actual thing you can do in The Sims, obviously. So the closest I could get was slain by vicious killer rabbit. That's basically a werewolf. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, I also have just a straight up spooky witch. Just a straight up spooky witch. Uh, I need her to have death by stink capsule so that she'll just have like a festering green aura around her. I want her to be cursed with that, uh, what is it, repulsive appearance curse thing that they have the hex that they have in game for witches. It's very fun, we love her. This guy, straight up don't worry about him. Do not worry about him, you will see what his deal is. Later, um, what he's wearing doesn't matter, you will you'll see his deal. And then we have just a great uh, goth girl. You gotta have just, uh, just a straight up goth girl. I want people to be from like different time periods. This is more like modern one. Uh, just, uh, just a goth girl murdered by mushrooms. That's the vibe. And then you gotta have a scary ghost girl. That was like one of the best parts of the Life and Death Pack trailer. You gotta have a spooky ghost girl. Uh, I want her to kind of feel like a scary doll come to life, and then also come to death. I realized I had too many vampires and forgot to put in a werewolf. So I came back to change Demi into a werewolf. And I realized, first of all, tattoos on the fur. Tattoos on the fur. More importantly, perfect mascara.
completed this household to perfection. We have here the, I guess, protagonist, Jacqueline, because that's the closest name to Jack o' Lantern. So we're not very creative here. Her friend, teen 80s movie slasher victim, Zoe Greenberg. Death by Killing Rabbit, you know how it is. Spooky Witch, Agatha Ithusa. Death by Sting Capsule, Unpleasant Woman, you get it. Onus Phalanges, Death by Being Swarmed by Flies, don't worry about this. Lloyd Bledsoe, not dead, except a vampire, so dead. Demi Benjamin, I had her as a vampire because she's goth. Now she's a werewolf for balance. She looks like this. <laughs> the thing about this pattern is it hides the tattoos better than others. And why would there be tattoos in your fur pattern? It's so silly. It's so silly. Dolly Madden. Deeply haunting. Deeply evil. Death by fire. And the love of my life, Scaredy, the cat. Hell yeah. Jacqueline here has some curses because this is the most haunted household and so they have to all be cursed. I also gave Agatha a curse of repulsiveness. So she looks disgusting, which is the vibe. Jacqueline has a few fun ones. Most importantly, the curse of the Night Wraith. If you have never played with the Night Wraith, it is so deeply haunting. I do love it. It is, it's great, it's perfect. Okay, so Jacqueline has the curse of the Night Wraith. A spectral stalker is hunting you. Uh, but where are they now? Good luck trying to sleep, fun. Curse of uncontrollable charge because we like chaos in this house. And curse of unwarranted hostility. For some reason, everyone just wants to be mean to you and even start fights with you. Uh, the cheat for this, by the way, is punchable face. You have to type in punchable face when you're equipping this trait. I gave Demi uh, the temperament's anti-capitalist canine because of goth. Feels outcasted because of goth carnivore because of werewolf and nightwolf because of spooky this feels correct to me i am happy with it oh my gosh and this is onus how do we feel how do we feel about onus everybody do we love do we love him i like him very much <laughs> is cringe, goofball, and gloomy. That makes sense. This makes sense for a skeleton. I don't need to explain it. It's just correct. Look at this dude. Oh, he sucks. <laughs> How? She's a ghost. Oh, yeah. So with the Night Wraith curse, you are always exhausted. It doesn't seem to go below this, but it just stays here. And you can't sleep. Sometimes you sleep or nap. It just says you're too scared to close your eyes. And look at this guy. He can't interact. He just does that. <laughs> this is great. I love him. Can I cheat him into the household? No. And that's all you can do is run away. So, there you have it. The most cursed household I could come up with. It's great. It's great fun. It's actually not fun to enjoy playing The Sims. That's a little fun fact. Uh, I encourage you all to be miserable and make your lives hard for no reason. Happy Halloween. Okay, real quick phenomenal news. I have discovered something so annoying and terrible, and I love it. I can just make him be a night wraith. 
to be straight up sucks. That's so haunting. That it's so haunting and bad. Love it. Perfect. Perfect game. Oh, and uh, Zoe here. I made her be afraid of crowded places, the dark, somehow afraid of death still, and afraid of ghosts. Don't get murdered in an 80s movie. It makes you very scared. Happy Halloween and happy swimming.